Hey guys, Drew's Hands over here at Rough Hiker Outdoors, and uh, I want to, to bring this, this video today. Um, you know, I do a lot of budget stuff on my channel, and uh, some people have said, oh, well, you're just buying junk and this and that. Well, I believe that I buy good stuff at a good price, uh, and I think some things are overpriced, some things are underpriced, and I try to buy those things that are I deem as a good value. Sometimes I spend a bunch of money on them, but I I deem it a good value, so uh, I try to do value stuff. I want to bring you a value today. This is the uh, new-ish Leatherman Rev, and I thought it was kind of appropriate since I am the Rev hiker. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to start by telling you a story. Let's get this out of the way. Um, this is your run-of-the-mill eight to ten dollar multi-tool that you can buy at Lowe's or any gas station, or you know, just stuff like that so um, this is something that some people would say this is a good value because you only paid 10 bucks for it this is not a good value um, today I was uh, my mom is getting ready for a trip uh, she's gonna go out to Moab and then in Colorado do do so it's just gonna be an awesome trip and I'm super jealous wish I could be going but anyway um, she, she's in her purse and, and she's asking me hey what kind of stuff should I have for this trip? So we're going through some of the, the emergency type things that she, sh she should need. Now, she's not going deep into the backcountry, just a couple day hikes and things, but I said you should still be prepared to spend the night in the event of emergency. You need to have a map and a compass, know how to use it, yada, 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 blah, blah, blah. So I'm going on with those stuff. I said, what kind of blade are you going to be carrying or, or a multi-tool? I said, because you, know, you have to have some sort of cutting tool. So she goes, oh, well, I've got this in my purse, and I was going to bring this. Now, she reaches into her purse to grab her multi-tool, and this is how it comes out. I see it come up out of the purse like this, with the blade out. She goes, and she was holding it like this, almost grabbed the blade. And she said, oh, my gosh, that thing was, it was open in there. And I said, yeah, it's, that's quality stuff. So I went to it, and I, you know, I said, oh, well, now look at this. You can't just do this on any blade, okay? Don't, don't do this at home. I said, this thing's barely uh, sharp enough to cut butter. Good old stainless steel. I love when they don't say a word about what kind of stainless it is. So anyway, um, this thing had such good retention that it came open in a purse. Uh, you can see here that you just, I mean, this just wiggles back and forth. And it's enough to where the tip is exposed and can be caught on anything. She could have pulled something out and that's how this got opened. Um, this is not a good value. This is a piece of crap. It has you know all this stuff on it. The, uh, the slip joint on it, which is nothing locks, it just has a slip joint. It's so weak that it almost might as well not be there. It's, it's next to pointless. Um, it's got another small blade on here that is just total crap. I, I don't even know what you could do with it. Um, the, the, I, I don't know. This, this thing is such a piece of swill. And I thought, you know, um, for 10 bucks, like, you know, my mom said that she's been carrying this in her purse and she's used the screwdrivers and this and that a couple times and, and it's been handy. And I said, well, you know, mom, I said, um, Leatherman came out with a new tool that's pretty budget minded but it still comes with Leatherman's 25 year warranty and it's still pretty much made in the US and you know for just about 30 bucks you could have something that is 10 times the tool that this is and so that's what she did for her trip to Moab and to um, Colorado and some other places and going to the Rockies she got the Leatherman Rev and um, I just wanted to give you guys an initial impressions on this and let you know why um, you might spend about three times the money, but you're getting ten times the tool. This is a high value piece of gear. This is junk. It's cheap. This is a good value. So first off, we'll start with the pliers. Now uh, you can see on the cheap tool, I'm going to try to get a close up of this. When I hope this shows up. See that wiggle? How the jaws are sliding back and forth as I move on these? And I'm not putting any pressure. They literally just wiggle with no effort at all. 
So you got that. Then look at that flex. I mean, I'm not even pressing hard. And look at that flex. So this stuff is just, it's just put together like swill. Um, so, and you know, the lock up in here between your wire cutters, they don't even touch. So lots of luck cutting anything that's not really thick. Because uh, when you try to get the finer stuff, that's when you need the tight jaws. Now these, the jaws actually rub as you close them. Um, so, you know, that's going to cut better. Next test, let's do the wiggle test. Not even a smidge of movement. Um, flex, yeah, you get some flex, but it's probably less than half of this. Uh, next thing about the Rev, uh, let's do the blade. This one, uh, like I said, let's see where is this thing, um, really loose, and when this opens up, you can see boatload of play before the slip joint even engages right about here. So you've got all this play before the slip joint engages, and then the slip joint, it's like it has pressure from about here to there. Then it's rolling free. It's uh, it's it's basically a joke. This blade, um, you know, profiles normal enough. Um, but it's just sharp as a marble. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, let's uh, pull out the blade on the Rev. Nice uh, reverse Tonto. Almost reminds me of this. A little bit. Uh, <coughs> so you got a little bit of a reverse Tonto. It is um, very sharp out of the box. And that, that tip is a serious, serious... Uh, piercer. Uh, I opened up some packages with it and I was like, wow, this went right in there. Uh, very sharp, 420HC, meh, but what do you want? The thing's 30 bucks. It's still a heck of a lot better than uh, this pot metal blade here. Uh, next thing, it's got a liner lock. Bang, this blade locks. No play. Oh, meh. No, not even side to side. There's nothing. Great, excellent lockup on this blade. Um, very thin. So again, this is not for like hardcore heavy duty stuff, but for an emergency tool or like an everyday carry, yeah, for sure. Uh, so you got the liner lock, works very nicely. That's the only tool that's accessible from the outside. The rest are on the inside. Uh, let's pull out the screwdrivers first. You can press them from the back like this to get them to where you can get at it there. Now this is new so it's a little little stiff but um, one thing I did say about these is that the, your uh, slip joint is next to nothing. It's just super loose. On this, these really they got a pretty positive lock up there and uh, almost uh, the Phillips has maybe 30 second of an inch worth of play but uh, slip joint much tougher on there much better lockup and uh, much better lockup on these. Now this comes with a file, can opener, and a package opener. If you if you're EDCing this and you open a lot of pop boxes, packages, this thing rocks. I sliced through some heavy duty junk with this, just testing it out, and it, it really worked nicely. Um, so I, look, I don't want to make this long, but here's what I'm trying to say to you guys. Oh, pocket clips really nice too and you can replace it should it ever break. Um, here's what I'm trying to say. The Leatherman might cost some more um, than your you know, five to $10 multi-tool, full-size multi-tool. Uh, it has about the same capabilities, but it's gonna perform its duties way better. And if you ever have a problem like I had with my TTI, <coughs> it's out in Oregon right now. Uh, being fixed because Leatherman has like an ironclad warranty. Their stuff's awesome. They stand behind it because they make it well. This doesn't even have a name on it anywhere if I wanted any kind of, you know, if I had any kind of problems with it. Now you could say, well, it's cheap enough to where you just throw it out. Okay, so you throw out one of these a year 
and in three years you've spent as much as you would on the rev in the meantime the rev hasn't broken at all in the three years and if by some chance you beat the snot out of it and break it you can just send it in and they'll fix it for you so uh, again valuable cheap there is a difference so anyway guys this is a mini review of the rev and just to let you know that you might save a couple bucks here but it's not worth it this is a much better buy than your generic uh, I've seen coast or Cob you know any of those junk brands that you're gonna find get a Leatherman uh, you know e even some of the Gerbers are, are half decent uh, but for my money this is value this is this is junk this is you know would you invest 30 bucks or throw away 10 it, it, it's your choice so anyway guys hope you enjoyed it um, have a good day God bless I've got a couple videos uh, coming up shortly here I'm gonna try to do another one today about uh, the modification on the uh, SOL escape bivy uh, for a sus subscriber of mine uh, but anyway, I'll, uh, I'll catch you guys later. Thanks for watching. God bless. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. Have a great day.